Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of the J Station Podcast. My name is Joe. My name is Jimmy. And it's Jamie. We are three content creators from the UK, bringing you audio only. Uh, Jimmy, did you get any sick Black Friday deals the week just gone? <laughs> I didn't even... I was... I, what? <laughs> what? What an incredible <laughs> intro. <laughs> Um, I did. Did I get any incredible Black Friday deals? No. Or like the whole Cyber Monday weekend business? Anything? Pet food, I guess. <laughs> if it's it's, it's a bargain. If it's got, a bargain, I, it's a bargain. I could have picked up, you know, the brand new Tesla for four twenty sixty nine, but I didn't in the end because I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> but if everyone keeps listening to this podcast, I will have that four twenty sixty nine Tesla. So tell all your friends. <laughs> Is that how much it generally costs? <laughs> 420, um, man. That was. It I was thought actually... he was talking about like the model. I thought that's what you meant. Like, no, no. <laughs> 420, um, 69 Tesla, is, do. This is a real thing. I don't know. Um, so Elon being the meme lord he now is. I can't remember if it's the Model Y or maybe the Model 3. I don't know. Even the Model X. So he lowered the price to $42,069. Brilliant. Because he's, yeah. And that's legit the price of his car now. <laughs> or what Jeff, Jeff Bezos would call lunch money. <laughs> or the guy from Tesco's would call too much money. <laughs> yeah, because already. He, I mean, I don't want to recycle old content, but he gets free meal deals. He doesn't need lunch. Yeah. Do you think Jeff Bezos gets free meal deals? No, I think they charge him <laughs> at least double, knowing he's Jeff Bezos. Does I'm not going to give him a get, discount. Do you think he just gets Amazon pantry deliveries? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh no, I've not. You know, like when you have to pay for delivery when it's too light because it has to be like over twenty kilograms or something. Do you think he does that? He's like weighing up his options and it's just like, oh, I have to pay for delivery though. And it's like $4. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely so I do sounds that all the like time. Something a man with his amount of money would do. Do you do that? Do you like, you'll like shop online and be like, oh, I don't want to spend all this money. And then you're like you're looking at the basket and you're just like, one pound delivery, they're not getting my sale. <laughs> Oh yeah, I 100% just... base my purchases off of the delivery cost always. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, quite. A Unless lot. I'm buying small like Etsy, then I don't mind. But yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I find myself or like you're buying that. a massive item if it's like something really big and heavy. Like I'm totally <laughs> like I fully expect that the delivery cost is going to be super high. But if it's I don't know, just something menial, and they're charging like two pound fifty for delivery, I'm like, <laughs> that's like a third of the cost of what I'm buying. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Unless I do my research and I find that that item with delivery is actually cheaper than it is on a different site without delivery. Then I'll do You've it. already done way more reading than I would have done. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's very rare. I usually only do it for things like cables that I can either get from eBay or Amazon or Cables Direct. I'm sure that's a website. Then I'll check <laughs> all three. If it's not, that'd be A, like very unlikely, and B, <laughs> an easy moneymaker for you just to buy the domain and sell it on. <laughs> um, business Venture, Jim? Yeah, all right, yeah. How much? What's the split? And uh, how, how much to keep Jamie out as well? Well, I'll I'll get ninety percent. <laughs> you get five percent. The rest will go to charity. All right, because I'm a good person. The Jamie, the Jamie, the J Free Jamie Fund. Yes. What do I need charity for? What have I just to shut me up? Oh no, you can look <laughs> at it, but you can't touch it. It's one of those. Oh right, I see. It's there for <laughs> okay. <laughs> a constant there. financial tease. Do you know those uh, um, fairground games where it's like a giant uh, perplex see-through plastic box? It's l enough space to get your hand in, but you can't grab the gold bar and pull it out. That's what we'll do oh, to you. You're evil. <laughs> Although if you replace the gold bar with a whisper gold, I won't go for it anyway. <laughs> it's just your yeah, money's that's worth right. in whisper golds. <laughs> <laughs> I brought it back to whisper golds. <laughs> We're bringing this to the podcast now. For anyone that doesn't understand, it's I think that whisper golds are incredibly overrated. Um, and Jimmy delicious. really likes them. I can't remember what Joe's stance is, but I, I feel like, like it's he likes them, but you don't you know don't rave about them as much as Jimmy does. Um, I would choose it from time to time uh, if I'm going to Tesco and getting it as the extra on top of my meal deal. <laughs> nice, <laughs> but it's not my always my first choice. But sometimes it is, so it's pretty high up there. But I, I wouldn't I, say I rave about it as much as Jimmy. But I definitely don't hate it as much as Jamie. It's been a while since I had one. I'll tell you what I had today, which was different, was the salted caramel Twix. That's I didn't the know there was one. Yeah, it's like in a baby blue, like a Robin's egg blue packet. <laughs> oh, that's very specific. <laughs> so you can't miss it because it's such a strange color. And then you're like, hmm, 
different flavored Twix that isn't regular chocolate or white chocolate. I'll is it give a, this a whirl. Is it a seasonal thing? I don't know, but what I noticed with it was like the caramel's harder, and I'm pretty sure that the hard bit of the caramel is just salt. It's just like a lump of salt inside the caramel. <laughs> That's their way around it. Yum. It's okay. I prefer a regular Twix. I always forget though, and I get drawn in by ooh salted caramel. I like yes. the um, mm. white chocolate Twixes. They're nice. Yeah, me too. I haven't. You can only get yet. them in Pound World, which is weird. As to do them. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, to be fair, Asda's like the pioneer in white chocolate now. Brilliant. Is that so? <laughs> it's Apparently. everywhere in every aisle, even down the meat aisle. <laughs> Cat food aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Getting like your two steaks and your, twi- your Twix for seven pound or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, like you know when it's like three for a tenner, one of those three has yeah. to be a Twix, a white chocolate Twix. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ripped tenner. up here. Yeah. Well, if it's in the meat, <laughs> in the meat aisle, it's, uh, it's usually three for a tenner. You can find Joe in the meat aisle. Schmeat. Schwang in meat, <laughs> usually. <laughs> While you're um, thinking of meat, I'm always thinking of meat. Contrary to popular belief of the 50-50 theorem, um, I also think about meat every now and then. There's a marketplace in Seattle. I just don't know why it reminded me of it, where they are, um, the whole appeal of it is just people lobbing fish everywhere. Can you imagine what? just walking around your day-to-day doing some grocery shopping and getting smashed around the face with a giant tuna fish? <laughs> that doesn't sound I... appealing to me. <laughs> I'm confused where the marketing strategy is here. I don't know. It's just a, because it's like a <laughs> traditional like harbor market thing. So there'll be like these dudes and they'll just literally be like from one end to like the market to the other. They'll be just like launching this tuna fish all the way across. And people love it. And Those that's my people story. aren't me. And I sound like an old man now who just spiraled out of control and no one stopped me. <laughs> that's how we always treat you though, isn't it? <laughs> Why would you like, let me do this? He's off on one again. Just let him have it. Just let him have it. Guys, I'm Jimmy's so on one of his rants. No, you carry on. You carry Back on. Uh, but we managed to get, I think, from Black Friday to the meat aisle very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take us very long. That's <laughs> normal. I mean, that sounds like a conversation we'd have. Um, judging by last week's food. podcast, sounds about accurate. It's a I lot. Am, it started can... a lot better, didn't it? We haven't sort of spoke about turtle in this time. True. There you go. We brought it up. We brought it up. Uh oh, alarm bells are ringing. Let me let me let me steer you in the right direction here, Joe. As you asked me, did you get any Black Friday deals? I I did. I don't know if I want to say though because they're none of the the things I bought were for me. They were Christmas presents, and if uh, anyone's listening, uh, okay, I uh, could be ruining someone's Christmas. What about Jamie? It, I um I totally forgot that Black Friday was even a thing. If I'm honest, I forget been... most years until I start seeing it on social media, and I'm like, oh, yeah, and then I never remember what the date of it is, and then by the time that I'm like, oh, oh I should go like see what deals there are, it's already been and gone, and I've missed it. And that's pretty much exactly what happened this year as well. There was an article talking about like major retailers and how they've basically released like inferior products for Black Friday now. Like Everyone's using it to like, scam and make more money. It makes me sad. I thought that's always been the case. Yeah, but it's, de- it's more like prevalent nowadays. Oh, right. I did see a post on, I think it was something like Twitter that was kind of like... It was it was basically a joke on how shops market for their Black Friday deals. It's like its normal price is two hundred pounds, but then when they put it up for Black Friday, they'll be like, "What's four hundred pounds now? One hundred ninety nine pounds?" Like Black Friday, I'm like, "Oh, you know what? I haven't thought about that. Maybe people do do that." In the UK, it has to be three months prior, so you'll see like three months prior, a load of prices go up, and oh. then when Black Friday comes around, they can like sail the price again. That but is, Jimmy to be fair, of knowledge. Quite a long time they have to keep the prices high. In order, to, no, I'd say that was a legit deal if it's three months. Deals legit happen throughout deals. the year normally, anyway. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Do you know it is a legit deal? Go on, him. Following us on Twitch on YouTube. Wow. As we have... <laughs> Getting in the early plug. Um, that was shameless. Absolutely it was. shameless. But it only reminded me because the way, whenever you, um, when people follow you when you're streaming, Jamie, you always say, you get free streamers for the price of one. How great is that? And I'm just like, that is a great deal. <laughs> like I think, to, <laughs> I think to myself every time, that is a great deal. Wait, I'm part of that. <laughs> I'm such a good salesman, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you're selling your own product to someone who is also part of your own product. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Black Friday deal, if I've ever I've heard one. Exactly. So, nice. But it's a Black Friday deal all year round, every year. It is. So, you but didn't so get the far, Thanksgiving dinner the day before. Only 2020, though. So twitch.tv slash channel and YouTube with the same URL ending. Yarl. <laughs> Yarl. <laughs> it's twitch.tv slash youtube.com slash channel. <laughs> but yeah, we create content for Twitch and for YouTube as well. So yeah, we do streaming five days a week and then we try and pump out a video two days a week. Um, but because of lockdown, it's been quite difficult, actually. I've, I've missed you guys. I've missed, I've missed I meeting up. I miss touching you. I miss your smell. Yes. Really. <laughs> 
Mr. Smell. <laughs> uh, Mr. Musk. The Is that the nose content we were talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Mr. Smell. This time we're trying something a bit different. Obviously, you guys can't see it, but we're currently looking deep into each other's eyes on Discord for like a, some sort of visual response. Lovingly. I'd it's say. like every time I swap between Jamie and Joe, it's like falling in love all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh! We've, had, we've resorted to this to, I guess, get to sleep every night. We just yeah. have a silent Discord call and just stare at each other for a bit. <laughs> like two young until... couples. Just like, no, you go to sleep first. No, like just laying, looking into each other until one falls asleep. But there's three of us, so it's awkward. And all our partners are annoyed. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I don't know how extreme you guys are about it, but I have to push Amanda out of the bed, put, <laughs> put my phone on the pillow with Discord open and sort of tilt it a little bit towards me so I can see you both. And I'm lying next to you looking at my phone and then I feel comfortable. Amanda does make a fuss about it. She's quite noisy, but eventually, <laughs> eventually she calms down and I'm fine. You don't notice it when you've got your headphones on, though. <laughs> it's just like the white noise just a... <laughs> yeah, these are these uh, those are those sound cancelling headphones. They're pretty good. I recommend them if your girlfriend is mad at you for kicking her out of bed. <laughs> Specifically to stare at the boys. <laughs> yeah. Do you not have like a bedside table you can put the phone on or anything? But or it doesn't. Same? It doesn't feel right because then you're not in bed, are you? <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm in the bed with you. Exactly. I don't. I no. feel more at home. It feels genuinely more like kissing the boys goodnight if you're in the bed. <laughs> I can respect that. Do you get Amanda to tuck you in as well, like wearing a cut out face of me or Jamie? Oh, at this point she's just raging, so I can't get her to do anything. <laughs> I noticed last time as well, we spoke about Amanda, but we haven't spoke about our partners. We were planning to introduce you guys to who we are if you have found us through the podcast instead of YouTube. And instead, we spoke about Turtle in Fears and nothing else. <laughs> so, <laughs> but pretty much the whole the whole podcast as well, practically. Yeah. Um, so I so suppose yeah, all plans yeah. to introduce each other just went completely out the window. And then we were like, well, it's a bit late now. <laughs> I think we could do that now. I'm happy to throw it in. That's all right of you guys. Go for Go it. For it. So, but if you can tell by the sound of my voice, my name is Jimmy. Real name's Jamie, but everyone calls me Jimmy because the other dude here is called Jamie. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm 28, I think. Yep. And we have known each other for how long? Five, six years now? I've never actually put it into a number before. Seven years? Um, I have known, yeah, I, I think I've known you both since about 2013. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. So yeah. Bloody hell. Seven years. Yeah. That's wild. It's coming up to, coming up to eight years. It'll be we eight years to... in around March, March time, I think. <gasps> yeah. And I have a wonderful fiance called Jody, and I've been with for over 10 years, which is wild. We should have been married this year, but COVID put a dent in that. So screw COVID. And that is oh, long and short me. I'm and I to hear work that. in aviation. I know that, um, I know that obviously the wedding being cancelled is probably the biggest downer for you this year. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to assume that that is what it is because I can't think of anything worse. But no. I think it's also <laughs> my biggest downer of this year as well. Because Aww. I was really looking forward to it, like really <laughs> looking forward to it, because it's we haven't had a friend's wedding before, like in our in like our little social circle. There hasn't yeah, we been. Have. We had Andy's. There? Yeah, we had Andy's no, in like, February. No, I don't. I mean, like, I mean, like, oh, us like, three and like everyone from like around where we live. Sorry, that's what right, I meant. Like, we haven't okay. had I was like gonna a, say, poor Andy. a friend. <laughs> that's not what I meant. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow, I know I hate him, but Jesus, <laughs> I um, don't hate him that much. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we haven't had like one down here close to home because you were having your wedding like right where we all used to live like together. Yeah. Um, and like where most of our like friends from this way live. And we haven't had one yet. And I was really looking forward to it, like getting everybody together for that. And getting and aggressively it didn't drunk. happen. <laughs> getting aggressively drunk and embarrassing myself in front of Jimmy and Jody's family. That would have been a be chef's kiss. If it's not, it's not a party unless Jamie runs up to you and starts screaming down at Thrasher, even though he's not yeah. a Thrasher anymore. That's true. <laughs> Joe asked me if I wanted to go to MMA with him once. And uh, um, I said, like, the day, because I was thinking about it, and then, the, like, the day afterwards, I saw him again. And I was just like, I caught my head on the door, and it hurt like hell, so I don't really want to go to <laughs> MMA. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, actually, I'm pretty sure all that happened within the same day. You, you were saying, like, <laughs> oh, I'd be interested about MMA. And then you were carrying your bike up the stairs, and, like, the handle swung, and back bopped you in oh, the nose. Oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, that really hurt my nerves. I don't know if I could take this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not designed Brilliant. for being punched. Some people love it, like Joe. Uh... Joe does love it. A bit of a masochist, I think, Joe. Like a secret masochist. Yeah. I wouldn't say I enjoy if I were just sat here and someone punched me in the face. That wouldn't be very <laughs> nice. Why not? Isn't that what we do for YouTube to psych you up? <laughs> uh, you got me there. 
You're like in a dorm in, in the behind state. the scenes. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> me and Jamie just, like, do, like, the, the Dragon Ball Z fusion to get enough power and then punch you in the face. Fusion. <laughs> yeah. <you> can... <laughs> and then I wake up. And then it's time. Then it's time for games. <laughs> so I suck myself up. It's the only way I can play Rayman without being too angry. Don't talk about Rayman. Oh, Don't. man, your Rayman skills are unparalleled. Yeah, I was, like, I was half wondering equal. if those skills would transition to something a bit more modern like Cuphead, but I doubt it. When we talking about you playing Rayman recently in one of our streams, I think. Uh, I think I was, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Basically saying that you're the master of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I played as a kid. It's the only game I could afford. So sad. Because <laughs> it's so cheap because no one wanted to play it. <laughs> it's too hard. £10.99 on the PS1, which at the time was, that was a high-end game. <laughs> How crazy is it now that games are like £60, £70 pound on the PS5? I'm sad. Like mm, Call of Duty yeah, is like I've 70 seen. quid. It's like, What? Yeah, the new Spider-Man, I think, is close to that as well, which is a shame because I really want it. I really, really I think that it. has dropped in some places now already. But yeah, Call of Duty is still up there because people are obviously buying it in bulk because they're mad. So if we're introdu- like if this was our introduction to Joe, it is that he loves a fight. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> he's really good at Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> How else would you describe yourself, Joe? I think you pretty much covered all the points. Below average height. Just those things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Can jump pretty high, to be fair. Um, <laughs> Your jump to height ratio yeah, my, is <laughs> bigger than most. My jump to height ratio is is outstanding. I'm not going to lie. And, yeah, I have a flat with three bedrooms. Three bedrooms? No, that's a lie. It's just two. Damn, I was trying to big myself up, and you guys... Damn it, Jimmy. I was trying to picture what the third one was. You spoiled the... uh... I was like, does he have a secret room he's just not told us about? (laughs) This is full-on kink dungeon he's never told us about. (laughs) You spoiled the illusion. Now we're going to get unfollowed left, right, and centre. Could have been. Could have been a walk-in closet, but Joe had too much leather. It needed to go somewhere. (laughs) I love the idea that we're going to get unfollowed left, right, and centre because of the idea that someone doesn't have a three-bedroom flat. (laughs) God, just monstrous. It's because... They're going to feel like I've been lying to them this whole time. Even though I've never outright <laughs> said I live in a flat with, flat with three bedrooms, <laughs> I've given that aura, I've given that presence, I've given that kind of, um, I've given that vibe of a guy that's got three bedrooms in his flat. And now people are going to look at me differently. Walking down Anyone? the street of somewhere in England and then everyone's just like, that's a guy who's got three bedrooms. <laughs> exactly. I, I was carry say myself. something similar. Like if someone's <laughs> listening to this podcast being like, he sounds like he's got a three bedroom flat. <laughs> Like, the and other least, two don't, but he does. I tell you what, he has though, and or I don't anyway. Jamie does two toilets. Mm. Oh yes, I love two bathrooms. I have one singular bathroom, which is a brilliant feat. But in all honesty, I can only shit in one place at one time. <laughs> Coward. <Valid>. <laughs> 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 you, yeah, with that attitude, Joe. <laughs> no, you're right. I should up, up my game. Yeah, absolutely you right. I believe in you. Although, despite that Jimmy has one bathroom, it is a significant upgrade from your previous bathroom. Oh, um, no, uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you telling <laughs> me it's it not? I think it's half and half. Like, you think the electric shower is gone, and now I'm like in the mains, so life is good there, so I can control the heat in my water now. But the toilet and like the overall size of the bathroom was way better. Wait, so think... you've got quite a small bathroom now? Yeah, it's like the size of my old kitchen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but then my new kitchen is the size of my old bathroom. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the rooms are in the right place now. Oh, I good. think for me, one of the thoughts in my head was that your your bathroom isn't now off of your living room anymore. <laughs> oh, I hated that. It's like so right whenever someone comes door. over and says, like, I need to use the toilet, it's like, all right, then I can hear everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could. You could hear anything that was going on if the TV wasn't loud enough. It's great, especially if you had like a kebab the same day. It was like fireworks. It was like November 5th every day. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Jimmy's guests in his old flat. You're like, they're like, I need the toilet, and Jimmy like, yeah, it's just there. And they'll be and like, just like, fuck it. Well, they'll be like, I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> Do you have another one? No. Uh, Your kitchen was funny too because it was like a a last in, first out kind of thing. Oh God, you I could literally it. only fit one person between <laughs> the wall and the kitchen counter. So whatever order you went in was the reverse order when you came out. Whenever me and Jodie were both in there for like cooking, cleaning, it was chaos. And we used to get so angry at each other because it was so hot in there as well. 
Oh, so yeah, no room. Be. Really stuffy. And we're just like, get the fuck out of the way. It's just like, no, you <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember back in the days we'd, uh, when we first started on YouTube, we would record uh, YouTube episodes <laughs> in your living room. And oh, your flat used to be a hotbox. And with all oh, the God, equipment we had running, that place got stuffy and uncomfortable and sweaty. And you boys so looked quickly. real sexy. I'm not going to lie, but that was hot. We were, <laughs> we were soaked. I'm almost sure. I'm almost certain I felt sick. <laughs> Most times. It's because he didn't have, you didn't have good ventilation in that flat That's at awful. all. Like your windows were those huge vertical ones that swung out from like the bottom and barely yeah. opened. Never like, got at a all. draft from them. They were garbage. Yeah. <laughs> no draft whatsoever. Oh, that was, yeah, it was a sweat box in there. It was really good for the space. Really yeah. good for the space because we could fit everything in. But oh, nightmare for being in there for more than a couple of hours, like with all the equipment on. Yeah, yeah, it really did get boiling hot in there. <laughs> What's, what didn't help is you had a cat as well. That You had to keep the window shut for most of it. Exactly, yeah. Because he's stupid and will try to jump out. He'll, like stick his head out and try to like squeeze his legs out. And he'll be like, ah. Uh. Was it like third story or something? Second. But Second. yeah, there was like an extra. like um, There was like a road that went up. Um, and then like the building cut into the road. So it would have been technically three floors. Yeah. Three floor jump. Back in, stupid cat. That's a, a real yeah. fart smeller, your cat. Yeah, he's a, and now we've got another one who's equally as dumb. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's a kitten, though. It's only got to learn. Yeah, exactly. Got to learn. <laughs> he's actually not too bad. Alfie's been the mischief recently. But you don't want to hear about my cat stories. Unless you do. Well, Tell us about your cats. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie, tell us I, about your pets. I have you never have any... owned one. Never, ever? Never, ever. Never, never ever. ever had a pet. Not even like a goldfish, like literally zero animals in any of my households ever. But I do really want a dog. So does Tegan. We both really want a dog. Hi, my name's nice. Jamie, by the way, and I've never had a pet. Um, <laughs> that's that's my introduction. This sounds like an Alcoholics um, Anonymous. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. <laughs> um, yeah, never, never owned a pet. There was a time ages ago, I can't remember how old I was, but it was in the first house that I lived in. No, that's, that's a lie, second house. Not that it really matters. Um, where <laughs> I'd expressed that I wanted a dog for a long time and my mum had kind of been like, okay, like, we'll think about it if you do this, 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 well, blah, blah, blah. And obviously I didn't do Is it do the that impossible list? Ah. I'm, I'm stubborn as all hell and I didn't abide by it at all. But I think that it was probably a lie anyway because my mum had always been like, no, I don't like dogs. Like, I don't like pets. My mum's a super clean freak, so she um, doesn't like mess and she hate would hate the idea of having to pick up after like dogs and uh pick up like hoover up like fur etc etc however laura and dave have a dog uh, my sister and her other half um who's basically my brother-in-law because they've been together for i think it's something like 13 years now so he's basically my brother they have little galahad who is a scottish terrier and he has won my mum over somehow i never thought it would happen but mum absolutely <laughs> adores him and like lets him in the house and everything she loves him to bits and he i'm like i can't believe it He's so he cute. Cutest. No way. Aww. He is the cutest. But yeah, my mum has my mum has swung to like it's not enough for her to get <laughs> her own pet, but she did then start looking after a dog um for someone at work as well, would like take it out on walks for lunch. And I was like, This isn't my mum. Who is this? <laughs> my mum doesn't like dogs. Your mum is red hot stuff. She is red hot stuff. That's what you she can't is. not mention your mum and not have me mention how much she is red hot stuff. <laughs> 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 See, similar to earlier, when Jamie was like, "I was surprised. I, I was. I was going to mention that, Joe, but I didn't. I was going to. I was thinking the same thing with Red Hot Stuff. I was <laughs> tempted not to bring it up. But as soon as you've done, Jamie, your mum's Red Hot Stuff. There is a joke in there that I am not willing to divulge. But <laughs> but yes, my mum is my mum is Red Hot Stuff, which is a weird sentence for me to say. That's how we know her. Especially, but I don't know her real name. I just call her R H S. R H S. She's always wondered. Stuff. <laughs> I don't mind that, Jimmy. Why does he keep calling me by letters? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, Mum. It's fine. I realise it's actually um, kind of interesting that I'm like in my head doing mental gymnastics to dance around like sensitive information around your mum and like why we can't talk about that story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that she would mind too much if you bring it up because I take the piss out of her for it. Oh so, well, yeah, but it's like... almost it's it, part of it will end up doxing her, so it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Don't mention it right now, but I reckon if you mentioned it to her, it'd be quite like she'd probably find it quite funny. Not that you guys can hear it in the last episode, but I totally doxed Jamie's full name, and then <laughs> to cut it out. <laughs> you did. Ah, oh, Jimmy, that's such a bad answer. So I know. Am I you should ban me? Am I gonna have to say your full name now just to punish you, so you have to go back and edit it? Yes. <laughs> 
I'm going to edit the whole thing anyway. True. Didn't think about that. In that case, it's not much of a punishment, is it? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> should we? Maybe we should censor it out instead. Yeah, just boop, like we did with um, <laughs> Pun Sensorbot yesterday. It was so good. <laughs> pun Sensorbot. <laughs> um, Joe, you should tell us about Bell now we've heard about. I don't want to hear about Joe's Bell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's bad enough that you send us pictures of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, is I do bad? on a like daily basis. <laughs> Just the date. Look, do you know like a, um, when you're like trying to prove a picture is real on the internet, you put like a date on the piece of paper. <laughs> so you'll get like today's <laughs> newspaper and just like hold it next to it. It's the only reason why newspapers <laughs> are still in business is Joe's Bell picks. Exactly. The OG timestamp. <laughs> why would we rather hear about my Bell <laughs> more so than hearing about? Uh, you've spoke about your girlfriend. Jamie has one too, and he's briefly mentioned her a moment ago. I did, ah. and she will <laughs> forever remain possibly a figment of my imagination, possibly not. <laughs> Is that so? Who's to say? That I mean, that's wonderful, uh, but I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too many nice things about her in case she can hear me. She's probably uh, in the other room. That is a very good point. <laughs> and then it will go straight to her head. Do you think I'm wonderful? <laughs> that's how it will go. <laughs> just kicks down the door, just, <laughs> you love me! <laughs> <laughs> and well, she my... comes. What we were doing today, actually, was we've. I've noticed that a large portion of our relationship appears to be we remember like a childhood song out of nowhere and forget some of the lyrics to it. So we quickly look it up and end up listening to either <laughs> this, like that song on repeat for about an hour, just bobbing along to it. Or we go and find a bunch of different versions of it to like, see what, like how the lyrics changed over time. <laughs> it happens more often than I care, than I care to actually admit. I think whenever I think of that, it goes to uh, um, Tots TV. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. That's this is the teeny sort teeny of era that I was because uh, we remembered uh, Nelly the Elephant today, right? <laughs> um, but we couldn't remember what the lyrics really were because it was a song from way back Other like, than when we were kids. Nelly the Elephant, <laughs> yeah, it's Nelly the yeah. Elephant back to drunk, yeah. And we're all just like, what? what's the rest? I don't know what the rest is. <laughs> Turns out it's um, said goodbye to the circus. Off she went with a trumpety trump, 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 and we listened to that a bajillion times today. So that was good, and Sounds I haven't it. it hasn't come out of my head since. <laughs> Sounds like Jamie's morning routine. Trump, Trump, Trump. Whee! Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> There's songs like that where I'm pretty sure I used to sing along as a kid. And now I, li now I think back to the lyrics. I'm like, was what I was singing as a kid actually the, the right thing? They were like nursery rhymes. Uh, Wheels on the bus. <laughs> that had some, well, the version of it that I would sing had some pretty dodgy kind of lyrics. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's really interesting you brought this up because I could talk about this for hours. <laughs> Pro-war pro pro uh, propaganda by accident. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the, the mums on the machine the, go the... march, march, march. <laughs> no, well, not, not quite that bad. But like things like I'm pretty sure the mums on the bus go nag, nag, nag isn't something that's politically correct. That like, would never make it as a nursery night run <laughs> these days. I don't know if that's just the way like your uncles and your dad would make the song and you just thought it was the real thing yeah. or if that was genuinely the words to it i don't know i don't know i don't i don't remember any of it but at the same time that sounded familiar <laughs> yeah do you know the song um like four in the bed it's like four in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over oh yeah yeah i know the tune right i learned a version of that in scouts which is roll over roll over and they all rolled over and one fell out splat on the floor of his guts hanging out please bro. and i started singing that and then tegan was like what because <laughs> she was like there's no more lyrics after like one fell out and i'm like yeah there is and this was another time that we ended up searching for the different versions of the songs oh, and brilliant. i always wanted to know if um so um witch doctor with i know that it's not technically a kid's song but the ooh ee ooh ah, ah ting tang walla walla bing bang i'm like is that sex is that what it is because what is it otherwise because right. it doesn't sound like it's not sex but it can't be right but at the same time is it jamie search here so it's just like is the witch doctor about shagging <laughs> is it about bumping bumpin uglies result. yes bumping uglies <laughs> my facebook ads are wild at the moment <laughs> <laughs> what well, did jamie you're going to tell us did you find an answer yeah. No, I still don't know. I, uh, that's what I want to know. Is that what it means? I haven't... I used to drive I my mum mad with that song. Uh, if, if, <laughs> if anyone is listening to this on YouTube, if you know the answer to that, yeah. please comment down below because I would definitely like to know. If you're or message anywhere. us on Anchor. Yeah. yeah, message us. Please get in touch. Yes. We want to know. Please. What's your, so interpretation? Is Chat, what is, is your interpretation? Is your interpretation of it? Ooh, ah, ah. Ting, tang. Walla, walla, bing, bang. Sex.
It's herbs. It's the herbs. What do you think? <laughs> do you think it is? Um... No, I don't know. <laughs> because it starts off about like I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. Do and it's, I'm assuming that he's not talking about being in love with the witch doctor and he's talking about being in love with the listener. Are you what I'm assuming? In love with the witch doctor? Of course I am, but I assume that he didn't have the guts to tell, <laughs> to tell the witch doctor that. All hail the witch doctor, duh, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's the propaganda we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> or, but I yeah, mean, I'm, I the witch doctor could be kind, mm, kind of a prostitute of some kind. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Selling you the potions that you need, baby. Yeah, selling you a good time, selling you some ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang. We've got potions, we've got ooh ee, we've got <laughs> ting tang walla walla, we've got bing bang. <laughs> ooh ee. Spe ooh, ah, ah. Speaking of uh, selling you uh, good times, um, it's time for our new segment. Technically, they're all new segments, but we haven't spoken about our wins of the week yet, and we're like smashing half an hour in. <laughs> We haven't spoken about our wins of the week yet. It's true, Jimmy. Your segues are on point today. They Thank are, you. aren't they? They're so <laughs> they're so weird, but I love them. <laughs> Keep them um, up. I'll try. My, my wins of the I don't have a super great win of the week. Um, the <laughs> the best win of the week this week will be actually tomorrow. Um, this is tomorrow from when we're recording this. Obviously, our extractor fan in the kitchen broke back in I think May, um, and hasn't worked since then. The the motor's gone. <laughs> so when you turn the extractor fan on, it makes this horrible grinding sound. It's awful. And it's finally been replaced tomorrow. Because obviously now when we cook, we can't open the doors because it's goddamn freezing outside. So I'm really looking forward to finally having that. And I guess I finally got my MOT done today. But that was because <laughs> I, I booked it in November and accidentally wrote the wrong date in my calendar and then got a phone call at the end of the day being like, yo, you missed your, missed your MOT today. We can't get you in for another three weeks. Oops. Oops. And then I found <laughs> out I can't tax my car until it's got a valid MOT. And then my tax ran out as well. And I was like, fah. So yeah. I finally got that done, but it cost me money, so I don't count that as a win. But the fact that it's now done and out the way is a win. You work from um, home as well, so it's not like it was super yeah. urgent. Yeah, well, I do at the moment anyway. Yeah, but, um, that's what I mean. But, but as mundane as those things are, it's made my week about half good. I'd probably give it maybe like a five or six. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Just the golfers clap in the background. Yeah, five or six out of ten, I think. Um, good. Well, well done, has. Jamie. I'm proud. Jimmy? Um... I'd say being on Spotify is my win of the week now. Oh, nice. Like, like seriously, to say like, are we... <laughs> even, like, even like away from the fact that we've like made a podcast and put it on the internet, like the fact I like, I never imagined like being on Spotify for any reason. So I find that really exciting that you can find us on there now. That is bananas. I could like, literally just open up my phone now and search us. And, and there we are. Look at it. It'd be beautiful. Yeah, you put JStation in and with the first result in podcasts, or you get some weird song, but... <laughs> I, I I saw what was it ASMR something or other was on was there it as ASMR well. ASMR the fall asleep to or something. Yeah, that's it. But nice. Mm. That's what you do anyway when you put us on your pillow and kick Amanda out. Right? More or less. You guys <laughs> are my ASMR to fall asleep to oh, at night. Right. Oh you. What's the um? What's your win then, Joe? I'm uh, putting the Christmas decorations up. It's Christmas. No, oh, yeah. We're well on the way uh, to Christmas, oh, yeah. and uh, we've Heck got yeah. some new decorations. We've got some nice like dangly snowflakes hanging from each of our led lights in the ceiling and it looks like it's snowing it's beautiful i feel festive i feel ready to go and now i've got to spend all my money and buy presents but overall i'd say <laughs> putting the decorations up is a win in my book you know what we did that too i forgot to mention that that's definitely a win for me as well we've also done us i i broke the i broke my own personal rule and did it too early i feel but like this year early. everyone has done it yeah. too early I think and we I, need when, to, yeah. yeah. When is an acceptable time to put your Christmas tree up? See, I always I was always of just like the thought of like first of December and no earlier. And then okay. I, I break my own rule because I got a kitten, so we're like, Well we'll put the tree up with no decorations so he gets used to seeing it. And like if he starts to climb it, we can try and get him out of the habit before any decorations go on it. <laughs> and we just decorated it early as well. We were just like, Yeah, all right then <laughs> Yeah, see so you're yeah. definitely smarter than I. When I bought Belle, our cat, last year she literally came home to the Christmas tree already up as a kitten. So we didn't even oh. give her a chance to get used to the tree. <laughs> she came home Ooh. and that tree was her home. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, she was too small to really do anything about it. But we had a mini tree in the hallway and that one did come down a fair few times and oh. all the baubles would roll around and uh, she'd have a great time with those. We haven't put the mini, back, mini one back up this year. That's a good idea. Are you going to put it in the background for any of your videos? I can That's see the tinsel. Idea. I just noticed... Not that you guys can see it. Oh, you yeah. can hear the tinsel, though, if Joe blows on it loud enough. He's not going to. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Did you see it move? Blew it at both ends. Just, yeah. So um, imagine this podcast is wrapped in tinsel for your delicious ears. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was so like annoyed when people are like, it's not even December yet. How dare you put your Christmas tree up? I was so dumb about it. And then I was like, well, I've gone and done it now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this year more than any, like we need Christmas to start we, sooner. Yes. We need joy quicker than ever. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Although for me, um, on a usual year, I'm happy to do it in November, but normally like the weekend before the 1st of December is normally around when I would put it up somewhere okay. around there, um, which this year probably not to be much earlier than that. Very close to December. Yeah, it did. It kind of sat right before the 1st of December, didn't it? Um, yeah. But for me, that's that's an acceptable time to start putting all your, your Christmas decorations up. Christmas but this year, Christmas. yeah, I see what you mean. There's been a lot of people being like, it's not December, but it's like, but I need cheering up because this year has been an absolute garbage. <laughs> And yeah, just let me be happy, Jesus. I need Santa now. <laughs> I saw um I went to buy some Christmas decorations recently and there was like <laughs> there was this jar and I was like, I feel weird about having this out and it was literally just a jar and it said Santa's milk on it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy it? Please tell me you bought it. No, I wanted to. Oh. I was like, I was like, this is clearly for kids, but like my warped mind is like sending Brilliant. this to another place. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Santa's milk. <laughs> Do you oh. guys remember? I, I think it was last Christmas. We found a, a game online, a flash game that we did for YouTube <laughs> that was oh, like yeah. Santa's sleigh ride or something or it other. It was like um, Line Runner, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you basically um, drew out a Santa. path. And Santa would have to try to get from one side to the other on the path you've drawn. And uh, the path drawing bar looked like um, a condom full of Christmas uh, Santa milk, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember seeing that bit. I remember I'll the game at... being fun and dumb. Go watch the video. Have to watch the video. I will have to. Because <laughs> that one as well was just before we went on hiatus. So actually the quality weren't bad on that one. That was when we were kind of getting to grips with things. We obviously didn't have the same structure that we've got going on now with YouTube with like a whole intro so much and better. an outro and but it looked good. The the picture quality was there and it sounded half decent. Not that I'm plugging We're myself. Not going to go on hiatus this year for once. It's just bonkers. Yeah. If yeah, cuz we can keep up with our oh, YouTube is maybe it depends what you re regard as a hiatus. Is what we're doing yeah. now hiatus because we can't get together? Not really, because we're still like putting something on YouTube. But normally it comes to Christmas and then we'll have like three, four weeks where we're like, oh yeah, we haven't recorded J3 in a while. Yeah. But now we'll be like, there'll be content anyway because we're going to be on like Twitch and In Your Ears and all that good stuff. Yeah. Every orifice that can contain sound, we will be there. <laughs> we'll be on some kind of platform. You Keep know, your those, eyes peeled. Those, <laughs> those eggs you can get for pregnant ladies. They can play music to your baby. <laughs> I did not know about these and I now kind of wish I didn't <laughs> I haven't it's heard weird. about these have you never heard I mean, of it? Seriously. I feel like I don't need you to describe them at all because <laughs> I, I feel like my idea of what you're talking about is exactly what it is <laughs> you'll never see the world the same again oh lordy go on Jim I be surprised. tell me Well, I've told you it's an egg with a speaker in and you use it to make the baby listen to music Have you? do you literally hold this egg up against your belly well not no. your belly but you know <laughs> You've not been pregnant before, have you? Yeah. <laughs> ah, right. Well, do tell. And if you open your mouth, the audio comes out of your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that was an audio representation of what Jimmy was just talking about. Could so... we replicate this? I don't know what the name for this thing is, this egg music baby thing, but could we not replicate these results with like an Echo Dot or a Google Home or something? <laughs> no, Jamie. If you're like, hey, Google. I'm going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happened to have my face mask in my hand so that was perfect for the bit <laughs> like play Despacito <laughs> I don't know what you think Despacito sounds like <laughs> also, well, why would you play that to your child what are you doing Jimmy <laughs> bad father bad play play top 12 metal Christmas songs oh, it was great actually yeah. I was, waiting to, I was waiting to hear <laughs> your 12 metal Christmas songs sung in live in front of us right now. Oh, I know that do one. Do you have like a favorite metal Christmas song or do you have a favorite not Christmas song, Christmas song? Not, um, ooh. Uh, Either or, you don't have to be one of each. Just There's only one have, like, not Christmas like song, that? Christmas song I can think of and it's that if you've got to go away, got to go away one. 
Stay Another Day. Because that's Stay Ooh. Another Day is not a yeah. Christmas song. It's nope. just yes, not it a is. Christmas music video. <laughs> it's absolutely a Christmas song. <laughs> it's played at Christmas and as a Christmas video, but the song itself is about love. <laughs> it's a Christmas song the way the same way that Die Hard is a Christmas film. Die Hard's a Christmas film because it's at Christmas. <laughs> so the he's going home for the holidays know, and he gets interrupted. <laughs> the thing is, I'm on the side that it is a Christmas film. So I feel like you should be on the same side. No, because if you if you look at the video this, though for the song, it's basically yeah. set at Christmas. And but the it's film the second is video they Christmas. made. <laughs> the yeah. first video is made in the middle of the summer and the song flopped, so they re-released it. Yep. Yeah, Christmas. and it worked. Yeah, because yeah. everyone was Genius. like, this is way more festive than Die Hard wasn't thought. fucking like, oh, we're on the beach in Hawaii and I'm going to go to Nagasaki Plaza and kill Alan Rickman. It was just like, oh, no, I'm going to, my estranged wife <laughs> is having Christmas troubles. So I'm going to go save her Christmas ass. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you not in marketing? <laughs> you like, should be. I- I'm just now imagining like barefoot, bloodied Bruce Willis laying on the beach in Hawaii now. <laughs> Which is all, all possibility. Sorry, no, go him actually, you know, it could be actually him doing that right now. We don't know that. I don't know what Bruce Willis is doing at this time of day. Being a badaeus, like he always badaeus. is. A doing badaeus. something cool, more than likely. He's doing something cool and being bald. That's what he's doing. <laughs> bald Jamie can't hurt you. He's Jimmy's not real. Um, favorite Christmas song, at least for the memes, is Feliz Navidad. I I have a good story with that. <laughs> you do, so, you do. I guess it would have been two years ago now. Me and my uni friends like to have like a, a yearly meetup, uh, which basically we use an excuse to get a bit too drunk, drinking a little bit in excess, a bit irresponsibly. <laughs> and apparently I drank several beers, a lot of rum, and I don't know, whatever else is going at the time. And um, the party was winding down and we all like, everyone had like the sleeping arrangements and like me and like a load of my friends and stuff were like sleeping on the couches in the front room. And I had my sleeping bag, so I was sleeping on the floor. But because I was like super drunk and it was like four in the morning and everyone's gone to sleep, it was just me going, Police never dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like um, my friend's there and he's like, smashed as well he's just going for loose navid <laughs> and then we'll change it up we'll go, i want to wish you a merry christmas <laughs> oh. and then um my friend's partner who we're, whose house we're at comes down the stairs we go oh, you guys shut up it's four in the morning we're like <laughs> <laughs> so, so so sorry we're gonna bed now we did we totally got told off it was great <laughs> I love this story because I can picture you doing it. That's I think that's why I love this story so much because I wasn't there, but I can see you doing it. <laughs> what I can really see, what I can really picture, and what's hit home with me is the fact that in between <laughs> each uh, each little sing song, Jimmy and his mate would perform. Jimmy would give the little giggle that he's got, like that. <laughs> you you know he's doing that. You know the oh, little yeah, giggle's sure. coming through, and uh, he's being so cheeky. <laughs> the giggle just amplifies how cheeky he is, really. One of the first few times I saw Joe was when I was very drunk and very loud. I think you were all hanging around in Jamie's room and I sort of stormed in and just like singing some shit. <laughs> Sounds you, about right. Yeah, you went to go throw up a few times, but Did you I? came back. Uh, Whoa, well, yeah, you were having a great time. Ah. You were doing ta- tactical chunders. <laughs> wow. Ah, must have been going out later afterwards. <laughs> no. I don't think so. I think it, well, you guys had ordered pizza, so you were in for the night. It was after- Fair enough. Yeah, I can't remember what we were doing, but. Yeah. I think, no, I think it was just me. I'd gone out with like friends and you guys all like hanging out. Yeah, we were already at UFC. home and you came in and you were you were <laughs> drunk and then joined us for pizza. Can't get festive drunk of everyone this year. We can't do our Christmas oh, meal no. either. No, I always do a Christmas, um, a Christmas road trip with Ben. I can't do that this year either. We always oh. just get in the car and go somewhere meaningless and just put Christmas songs on and listen to them like the whole way to wherever and back. Oh, I can't man. even do that this year, gutted. <laughs> We went out for we went out for a J Free curry last year. That was great. Mm, that was good. I'd love to do that again. Oh, so a whole year ago. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very long time. Flown ago. by, isn't it? Seven months of affiliate on Twitch and. It was before Twitch because we we took you for the curry to say thank you for all the YouTube editing you were doing. Like exactly. you've done so much work. <laughs> so for, like, much our content <laughs> that nobody was watching. It was worth it in the end. Yeah. That's like it only got oh, better. Yeah. It's so like strange isn't it the last year has like really picked up like all the content that we make it mm. it does genuinely make me happy that people are watching stuff that i'm editing stuff that we're producing people are actually sitting around and actively switching us on to watch us which is insane i love it it's so cool and it's people we don't know well we know now from 
Twitch and YouTube, but beforehand, they're like not our personal friends, like from like school or work or uni. They're like literally like someone who's seen us on the internet and like has like reached out from us that way. That bit is the mind blowing part and like always astounds me every time. Yeah, I yeah. can't believe it. Like, cause and, and actually, the the people when we started on Twitch, our, our viewership was mostly our friends, like just coming in that we knew yeah. already. That slowly fizzled out, and all the new streamers, the other people that are on Twitch and general Twitch viewers, were the ones that started watching us. To the point where that is our main base now, which is yeah, insane. The one, which is weird actually. They're the ones that stuck around. Yeah, it's that, like it's not to say our other friends don't like pop in every now and then, but like. We'll have like people that come in like every day, which is cool. Yeah. And they'll like come in like maybe once a week or something like that. I think majority of friends of ours that watch are actually mostly Jimmy's because there's Gregory and Adam. Yeah. And they're both they're both your friends that I can think of that come in. You uh, sometimes Joe's mum drops in, which is really nice sometimes. <laughs> so she just like comes in that. every now and then. Mum so and my cute. sister. <laughs> my family are slightly, I guess, less involved. Um, my, but my cousin, my cousin obviously just started streaming and now he watches us as he well does. so it's, yeah. it's cool it's cool it's yeah. cool when he comes in and when you're not on like if i'm on and i'll see chris's name and i'll be like oh yeah there he is <laughs> oh nice yeah you've got um like you said uh adam and gregory and andy as well he yeah. keeps coming back andy, and yeah. comes in. every now and again yeah sometimes i tried to get my um dave mum comes in <laughs> oh that would yeah. be great i'd love to see your mom come in i don't think i don't think it's for her uh, but i tried before yeah maybe she'll um i think she'll probably watch the charity live stream if i pester her enough <laughs> mom don't forget Mum, if you're listening, charity live stream, 19th of December. Be there or be square, 9am, twitch.tv slash JV channel. Not just also, Jimmy's mum. just Jimmy's mum. Yeah. yeah. I was just, <laughs> Everyone. Exclusively for my mum. We are doing it. cool and awesome. If you didn't know already. An exclusive stream. <laughs> we are doing a charity live stream, 19th of December, to raise money, to raise awareness for people suffering with mental health. That's going to be a 12-hour stream running from 9am until 9pm, possibly later if... Uh, we raise enough money in the process, doing all kinds of shenanigans. Young Minds is the <laughs> charity we're raising money for. Definitely go check them out. It's all uh, it's all in our Twitch bio. Uh, you've got the links to our Discord there, which will have Tiltify and, and, and all the rest you need to see about all the information. I was going to say, it's all on Tiltify. Fun and festive forfeits. Yeah. In case you're listening to this, not in 2020, you've missed you it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've missed it. It's been and gone. Oh, by the way, if you're not listening to this in 2020, uh, can you tell us what the future is like? <laughs> just chuck us a quick message just get in touch yeah. and be like i heard your podcast and you asked to tell you what the future's like for you <laughs> yeah just let us know how you like how 2021's like fair and for fingers crossed for a yeah. hoverboard fingers crossed for a hoverboard oh That's finally <laughs> yes the back to the future hoverboard yeah because we already passed the date in back to the future now and we still haven't we got it so i feel like they're slacking a little bit i don't know who they are but they're slacking yeah what if, if you got a message that was like oh yeah it's a dystopian wasteland now. We're like, yeah, we're living in it. We know. <laughs> Why did you ask? We're there. How dare we bring up questions we know the answer to? It's, uh, <laughs> it's Walking Dead out here. Oh, man. <laughs> Although, could be fun. The Walking Actually. Dead universe would uh, um, not be a bad zombie apocalypse to be in, but World War Z zombies would suck. The ones that can run. <laughs> exactly. Really fast. Yeah, no thanks. Their Left 4 Dead zombies would be garbage. Yeah, I wouldn't fancy that. Although I feel of... like... If they were, most people would know what they are and how to deal with them anyway. That'd be really lucky, in my opinion. I guess. I reckon you have too many overconfident gamers that go in and get bit, though. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. For sure. Be like, yes, it's finally happened. All my loved ones are zombies. <laughs> you know. I think we all like to think <laughs> that we would thrive in a zombie apocalypse, though. I think every single person is like, I'd do really well. I don't think there's anyone out there that would be like, I'd, I'd suck, unless, <laughs> unless you're Lewis, because our friend Lewis is terrified of zombies, even though obviously they're not real, but it's like an actual fear of his that they yeah. could be real. So I think he... May, actually, maybe it worked to his advantage. Maybe he would actually end up the being really good at it, him. because, yeah, it'd get yeah. Like, the adrenaline <laughs> rush from being totally scared of them. I can see it. But I, can see it. I feel like it'd be more the the Bear grills of the world that would do well in that kind of situation. Just an apocalypse scenario in general. Yeah. I think they will definitely survive the best. <laughs> They'll be like, you laughed at us for storing 40,000 tins of baked beans, but now who's living forever on their own with <laughs> baked beans to eat? Ah, <laughs> uh, the D-Day people. You've got to befriend, befriend one, just so yeah. you have it as a backup. Mine and Jody's electricity went out for like an hour recently while they installed a smart meter and like we had no lights. So I was like, we'd be stuffed if there was an apocalypse. <laughs> but no candles, couldn't find a lighter. Oh, like barely any matches. Wait, did they come at nighttime? 
Um, well, the guy was running late for like his jobs were running over and stuff like that. And then the sun was going down when he arrived. I see. So like, me and Jodie were just sat in the dark with like nothing to do because <laughs> of how dark it was. I have to go back to playing cards. Do you remember when you used to do that? No, me My mum used to try to get me to play solitaire when I was bored as a kid. And I hated it. <laughs> oh, solitaire is actually more boring than being bored, in yeah. my opinion. It's, oh, it's really dull. There was a point where I was so bored, I actually picked it up for a bit. And then <laughs> I remembered I didn't like solitaire. After. I think I used to cheat with it as well. Because you had to shuffle it in threes, didn't you? But you could do it in ones as well to guarantee a win. Yeah, was, oh, yeah I've never really been a solitaire fan. <laughs> card game games. I, I like card games, though. Snap is more down my alley. It's hard to play that solo, though, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> That's true. Speaking of um, really good Jimmy transitions. <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. Were we speaking of Jimmy transitions just now? We're no, always speaking of Jimmy transitions. you did say you were talking about games. Right. And uh, um, it okay. made me think of the, the Discord question of the week. Which is? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, what is the most underrated game that you've played? Rayman. Video we... game, I'm assuming. Yes, video <laughs> game. We looked at this question before we went live and Jamie didn't have an answer keep that one in the back uh, pocket yeah <laughs> underrated it's a really good question because you never think of like underrated video yeah, games yeah you normally think of things like horizon and spider-man don't you yeah World like i always think of like games i really enjoyed but never ones that i really enjoyed that i feel like a bunch of other people don't cyberpunk is underrated hey <laughs> way i've pre-ordered that it oh, might. Nice. okay if you're listening I've to this um... now it might be out yeah. <laughs> oh yeah good point like this time next week, it should be out, isn't it? The 10th, I think. Who knows? The 9th? I don't know. But I've gone for the Stadia edition, and you're like, Jim, you're a madman. You can't do anything. And let me tell you why. Because you, um, you get a Chromecast Ultra, which is the 4K streaming dongle, and the controller for the cost of the game. So you get the game and those two things free. And it's like, well, this is a no-brainer, because if the game sucks, I can just, like, if I wanted to get my money back, I could just sell these two things. Stadia, <laughs> you're going to get latency, the quality is going to be it. limited. I've tested oh, it with my Jim. friends, and it's really good. It's, like, legit just, like, boot up and play, and it's just like, oh, the game's good quality. It's like, all right. <laughs> I guess there's only one way to find out, truly. Just to yeah. give it a go. Find out for yourself. Worst case, I have a new Chromecast, which can stream 4K, so I win either way. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and revert us back to the Discord question of the yes, week. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Speaking um, about cyberpunk. <laughs> that's okay. I haven't seen many people talk about Until Dawn, and we played that on YouTube. Yeah. And I really enjoy it, despite the weird audio. Despite yeah. the, the the audio is weird, because it honestly sounds like they're talking through a mobile phone like the whole time, or underwater or something. I like to think they're, um, they're speaking through a drain gutter. <laughs> yeah, like a tin can with string, something like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was really good. Um, and uh, Detroit Become Human. Is it Become Human or Being Human? I wouldn't but, call but that underrated. Detroit People loved that game. I loved. Um, anything about Supermassive for me, actually. I feel like Supermassive aren't as Supermassive as they should be. Nice. I really no, I love, think, I think they did really well love their games. Detroit. Detroit was great. I actually just started watching um, a show called Humans, which was a Channel 4 show. It's come up on Netflix. And then it turns out that humans and detroit were both based off of the same short film so the plots are really similar oh cool and i was I and i was just like oh is one of these a rip off of the other and then tegan looks into it, <laughs> into it for me and apparently they were both based off the same short film and i was like oh that's really interesting that's really yeah, cool that. it was all all coincidence apparently so that's fun underrated games is mirror's edge underrated uh yeah i'd say mirror's edge i mean because i really enjoyed the kinda. first one if you if I you said mirror's edge one. 2 then that'd be underrated in your opinion Underrate um, people Mirror's Edge like 2. Mirror's Edge 2 for me, I, I didn't enjoy it. Did you play I didn't enjoy Mirror's Edge 2. Um, yeah, Victor uh, let me um, use his... What was it on? Was it on Uplay or something like that? I forget. He let me oh, yeah, like, log into his account and play it for a bit. And it was too open world for me. I preferred I preferred the linear like storyline and you couldn't really veer off anywhere by yourself <laughs> in Mirror's Edge 1. It was, you need to get from A to B while all this stuff is happening. You better run. And I loved that. It was great. Yeah, the running um, gun kind I, of vibe to it. Yeah, Mirror's Edge 2 was a bit too, like, there was so much not happening all the time because you had to travel to, like, your next mission. And then the novelty of parkour had kind of worn off by then for me, I think. But I loved Mirror's Edge 1. It's really difficult to come up with games that people don't talk about. Yeah, because all the ones really I'm thinking difficult. about now are all games that people have played or are beloved. <laughs> a game that I thought was uh, a very underrated. Uh, I don't know if either of you have played this, but Stuntman Ignition. <gasps> the stuntman games oh they're man. fantastic oh wow that's a throwback now it's not 
It's not a racing game. It's it's kind of its own genre. No no one else has really done mm. anything like it. And I think it's brilliant. You just have to play out a action scene or a car action scene in a film and you have to do all the stunts that a stuntman would do in the car. And oh, it's brilliant. You've got to do all the sliding underneath lorries or semis as they're called in the game <laughs> it got to drive over mountains go through explosions set off the bombs that kind of stuff to make all the cool scenes happen brilliant i can't stop playing it joe you've just reminded me of another game actually sorry carry on but i'll come back to it all i was going to say was did you have a semi while driving under the semi <laughs> i have we one have right now sound effect man <laughs> thinking about it i have one what game did it remind you of jamie See um, if you split think of the same second one velocity <laughs> not played i've never heard of it it was it was a racing game that I absolutely loved. And the point of it was it was kind of like, not reality TV, that's the wrong word for it, but it was like this big TV show, kind of like, what's, oh, what's that film? There's that film that's, uh, is it Death Race? Is it Death Race? Where, like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. They have to like, they have to run around a circuit and kill each other. But it was yeah. kind of like that. But it was set almost like in a movie studio and you had to race against other cars but you'd build up like this meter that eventually you could trigger like an environment thing and then all the stuff would just explode and you'd be able to like cut off parts of the the track because you've just made an entire <laughs> building collapse onto the track and stuff it was so good it was so high energy like the whole way through i absolutely loved it and there was a game mode on it where you'd have to keep going around a circuit with all these semis funnily enough and um, that were throwing like <laughs> explosive oil barrels like off the back of them you had to keep like dodging in and out of them while blowing stuff up it was so good i loved it that was the exact kind of cheesy racing game that i absolutely like adore <laughs> it sounds up my street it sounds similar to stuntman ignition so i'm down i'm down it was so good what platform was so, it on? so good great question i want to say ps3 if it wasn't then it was ps2 but it was around then i think i want to say ps3 yeah stuntman was ps3 as well for me Probably Xbox 360 too. Nice. Have you got what was your underrated or possibly not underrated game? I've got. I think I've got a couple. So I don't remember the name of the first one because it's like I played it so so long ago and no one else seems to know what the game is. So it came out like around the time of Grand Theft Auto 3 by C. I feel like I spoke about this before, but like you, it's like all based in like I think it's like based in South America or like maybe on the border. So you go between like uh, Mexico and. Um, the states and they're, um, it literally it does play like a GTA game but it, like the games you described it's got like more like octane energy and there's like loads of explosions going around and like the true crime games it's got like a slow motion function as well oh true crime oh true crime true was crime. awesome <laughs> that and I had New York City as well I loved both of them they were great I so, never played anyway, those games either I wanted to uh, that, no, yeah, I'd say the true crime games as well are underrated I think they don't yeah. talk about true crime enough. I forgot. They're about rated true pretty crime. high, though. I think. <laughs> Are they? From what Crap. I could, from what I've heard. <laughs> My other one true... will be Sly Raccoon, by the way, the platformer. I want to make sure I'm remembering this right. True Crime, New York City. If you played it, I'm sure you played like more of a gangster, like a street thug kind of person. I think I only played and, LA. And in LA, I think you were a bit more like a kind of like Tommy Vasetti. Oh, of... I thought you were like a cop <laughs> in True Crime LA. I was I a cop. Like... I thought you were an FBI agent or something. Oh, maybe. A it's been so long since I've played those. <laughs> but, oh, man, I loved those games. There's a game called Urban Chaos as well on PS2, which I absolutely loved, um, which was the only the only kind of comparison I can make to it is maybe something like Bulletstorm. Oh, but Bulletstorm. Less... <laughs> oh, Bulletstorm. Maybe possibly another underrated game because it's just so wild and fun, but it's not that great of a game, but it also really is. Well, it's maybe just... a bit more along the lines of Bulletstorm, but the game's called Urban Chaos. Urban Chaos. And me and my sister used to play it together. Well, she'd basically watch me play it, and it was quite a violent game, and it was all, like, people in, like, hockey masks, and they were all, like, rebelling, that sort of thing. And you were basically, like, part of a riot uh, riot squad. Oh, and... I just found the case. It's, it is a PS2 game. I was trying to find the name of the game. Oh, nice. It... And there was this one bit, oh, I can't remember, it was like a stun grenade or something like that, or like a taser, but you could not kill them and instead like incapacitate them. And it would come up on screen every time you did that. And it'd say like, incapacitated, in like massive <laughs> letters. And every time we did that, me and my sister would just shout, incapacitated. <laughs> and I absolutely loved it. That game was great as well. I loved that. Phenomenal. That was so good. I can't believe all these games are coming back to me now. I just um, went down a little nostalgia trip where you were saying about that and i googled ps2 games and oh my god the flashbacks i was getting <laughs> nice 
Not PTSD, I hope. More no, good flashbacks. A, good flashbacks. Just you like don't know, because you weren't there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Getting like nearly new PS2 games like every week sort of thing, every couple of weeks. Uh, back when games were cheap and you could fill yeah. up your shelf with them, you'll have a pile, oh, well, pile of games. Going all the way across. Yeah, and now it's point. like you've got uh, maybe two or yeah. three PS4, PS5 games maybe. Exactly, because they're all on, all on my PC or all on the console. Yeah. Even then, it's not that many <laughs> compared. I do miss the nostalgia of the having uh, like multiple boxes of games, looking at the covers, <laughs> feeling them, <laughs> smelling them. Oh man, the smell of the manual book. Yeah, it's like the best. They like open the back and you're like, <gasps> "There's no high like it." <laughs> <laughs> Just got you more excited for the game. Fuzzin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd read like the manual book in the car on the way home. Yeah. For me, for the Switch, there's something really unsatisfying and, and like anticlimactic about opening a brand new switch game box because there's nothing in it yeah apart from the it's cartridge just empty and like the box is like 20 <laughs> times bigger than the cartridge is there's no instruction manual nothing it's just a box that's way too big with a cartridge in it that's way too small and the box is so already what... smaller than the regular one yeah it's, i think that's something about the switch that i don't like <laughs> even though it's really petty but <laughs> it's just so dis like just it's so boring to open a new switch game what opinions of in... Jamie's do you think are underrated in this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, that can hit from many angles. If you're all down for saving the planet, that is a lot of wasted plastic right there. God it damn. Is. It is a... right. <laughs> why, is the... why is the box for a DS game smaller than the box for a Switch game? Good and when the cartridge for a Switch game is smaller than the cartridge for a DS game, I don't get it. I don't understand. Nintendo, Nintendo if you're listening, please comment in <laughs> the section down below. Yeah, Mr. Why. Nintendo. Yeah. You seen the um the CEO of uh, Nintendo North America's last name is Bowser. What? Oh yeah, you told me about this not too long ago. How great is that? Was that just it's, a coincidence yeah. or has he legally changed it? I know it's coincidence, but I really but yeah, even so, the odds of that happening are incredible. Speaking of odds of happening last names, my at school, my <laughs> headmaster or principal was Mr. Simpson. Our deputy head <laughs> was Miss Skinner. Nice. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. I bet they heard jokes to no end. Yeah. There were two guys at the school my mum worked at, which was actually a rival school to the school that I went to. My mum <laughs> right. went off to work at a better school that I was put in. But I'll, I'll never get over how angry I am about that. Anyway. He said um, it's the best. <laughs> and there were, there were two Mom, people, stop. I think, in the, in the same year as me. One of them was a Harry Potter, genuinely, and the other one was a Tom Jones. <laughs> Fantastic. Which I think both of those are great. I think you dodged a bullet not going to that school. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. I wouldn't have wanted to go to that school, really. I was just messing. But um, it was a school like... There were three schools really close to each other back where I lived. There was mine. And then literally a five-minute walk away was then two grammar schools, a girl's school and a boy's school. Same we had something set up like that with mine as well. <laughs> really weird. Yeah. Like loads of high schools like really close to each other. I didn't realize that it was a more common thing than it is. Because mine are actually high schools, but you guys went to secondary schools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where the big kids picked on the little kids because they're so much bigger. Did I tell you about how we used to play um, football with a bottle because the school wouldn't let us bring footballs in? I think we have briefly spoke about this. Our, our school allowed something as small as a tennis ball, but that's it. <laughs> we used to bring up prison rules as well and just beat the crap out of each other instead of actually playing football with a bottle. We did this like every uh, lunchtime for rules. years. Did you do prison, prison rules, rules as well? <laughs> uh, we didn't call it prison rules. We called it Aussie rules. But it was, Aussie rules. The, it was basically the same thing. But yeah, you could just do whatever you wanted. We called it Aussie rules. And all it took was just one person to shout it out and everyone just like lost <laughs> their mind. Yeah. It's almost like this shot of adrenaline just hits you. Like, prison rules! You just turn around and whack someone. Time to nah. start fighting. <laughs> See, we didn't Throwing really hands. have that. The guys that would play football at our school, they were proper, super into football. If you did anything outside of what the genuine rules of football are, they'd get the ump. And they're just like, Sounds like Joe went to a posh school. Well, no, because then <laughs> I would go play on the other side of the playground and just fight. It's not over football. <laughs> it's just fight. Usually <laughs> at, the other side around the basketball fight. courts. <laughs> There's the that, Joe we know and love. Is that true? Did you actually? Uh, not Well, no, it wasn't full on fighting. It was just... Because um, <laughs> there was no competition, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Joe would just floor him. <laughs> Oh, Jamie, you've got a story about uh, um, asking your teacher for a fight. I do. Oh, I still feel really bad about that. <laughs> but it's so funny. So my 
what was it year it must have been year 11 i think <laughs> my year 11 it class is honestly like if i could go back and relive any part of my school years it would be <laughs> year 11 it because it was just absolute chaos so one of the guys uh, that i was friends with called i only, only give the first name obviously to say but his name's james and we were he was writing an email to i think it was like the head of music i can't remember why but he was writing an email and then he left his computer for a little bit. So I quickly went over to his computer and I like removed the message he'd written and then wrote in something like, <laughs> I heard you want to fight. <laughs> meet me, meet me at about a gate at three o'clock. <laughs> then like regards James. But then I left it. I didn't send it. I just left it open on his PC. Right. And then I went to go sit back down at my PC and then he comes back and then he reads it and he kind of laughs, but then kind of goes like a little bit red because uh, he always did. <laughs> And then he went to go, like, start deleting it. And I was just like, oh, you don't need to. I was like, oh, did you not know there's a shortcut? You can just press control enter. It will delete it. And then obviously he just did it. And then it sent it. And I was like, oh, I felt so bad. But I couldn't stop laughing. I could not stop laughing. Oh, no. (laughs) It sent the head of music fucking... (laughs) <laughs> was it miss i think her name was miss was it miss white no miss voice funnily enough her name was miss voice how could you forget um, that <laughs> and i think so miss voice wasn't known to be like that good at being like a bit bantery a bit friendly like she was quite she was aggressive. there clock <laughs> <laughs> she was quite aggressive where is james like, he offered but to throw th- hands. <laughs> I think she knew. I think she knew who James was because he wasn't the kind of guy that would have sent that. So luckily for him, she responded with something like, I know this is a joke. Please stop wasting school time or something like that. <laughs> so he kind of got away with it. But I was like, literally nothing. Like, you can't even blame me. I didn't even send it. I wrote it, but I didn't send it. <laughs> <laughs> and you tricked him on sending it, but you can't blame you. Yeah, you played and I mind him tricks. On sending it. Mind games. I like it. Jamie Smart. If there was a camera in that room, it would have all been him. He'd have looked at me and then gone, right, send. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're on. <laughs> it was the perfect crime. Oh, honestly, though, IT was absolute chaos. We would all chant. <laughs> uh, we, had a, we had a teacher called Mr. Wilshire, who honestly, he was genuinely the nicest guy in the world, Mr. but Wilshire. could not control his class. He couldn't control us oh, no. at all because we were just an unstoppable force. But it wasn't to the point where we'd like, we all really loved him. He was great. Um, but it was just that point where, you know, we knew what we could get away with and we would do it all the time. And every time he walked into the class, we'd start chanting. One of Jimmy's favorite things to do. We'd start yeah. chanting. We'd go, oh, Mr. Wilshire, you are the love of my life. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Wilshire, I'll let you shag my wife. Oh, Mr. Wilshire. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be able to hear it throughout the whole IT block. And it'd be like literally every single day. <laughs> we loved it. Absolutely loved it. Good we times. also gave him, weirdly, uh, this is more a story for Jim than anything else, but we gave him the um, the Dave's Insanity sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, fully telling him that it was super hot because it made all of us cry, like, that day. <laughs> and then we gave some to him, and he just absolutely bossed it and just, like, got a little bit red, and he was just like, oh, pretty hot that is. <laughs> We're like, how are you doing this? <laughs> Not like the time that you had I loved the, him. the bomb hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh the bomb hot sauce jamie gets that. mad when he eats hot sauce that hot i hate i hate that Even... sauce under those circumstances the environment was wrong i didn't <laughs> that's what i'm gonna blame it for. <laughs> the, environment was, the environment was wrong we were, in a... <laughs> we were in a goddamn car for it. all i had was beer it was boiling hot <laughs> in there and it was christmas time everything was wrong so you wearing like a christmas jumper and you're hot i'm <laughs> supposed to be all festive damn my it. mouth is on fire i've got literally nothing to Nothing to cool my mouth down apart from beer, which just makes it worse. <laughs> I hate that sauce. Never again. Never, Never again. again. Except Never on our charity stream, 19th of December, Jamie's going to fill his potatoes with him. And it's going to be one of the, the roulette. <laughs> What's it called? Not looking forward to that. Roasty roulette. Roasty, Roasty roulette. roulette. It's like one of the forfeits for earning a certain amount of money. Then a donate, single donation, wasn't it? No, it's a milestone no, it's one. A, um, oh, milestone. milestone. It's the first milestone one as well. So it's oh. the one that we're pretty much going to have to do regardless. Eating a sprout is our first, like, a um... single donation. <laughs> Sprouts are bad. <laughs> they're Sprouts they're, not, are they're not very nice. And bear in mind, we're going to have them in front of us for 12 hours, oh, potentially honk. more. They're yeah, going to they get a honk. They're going to stink. We're, we're and... going to have to, like, sort out a rotation. Sprout rotation. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get cold, <laughs> gammy, possibly start sogging all over the bar. Oh, it's going to stink. I feel... Oh, Jody's going to come into this room or like if we can do it all together, they're going to come into the office and just be like, oh. 
Merry Christmas. Happy Maybe we got to put, put them in one of those cake containers with a lid. That's a genius idea. That is a great idea. Put them in Tupperware. So yes. it's easy. Have a nice pack. Nice. So I guess I guess this is it. We've been we've been talking for a good hour and a bit now. We have. Go on, so time flies. Time it does. It does. It really does. We're just like, nattering the entire time. <laughs> so I think if you're listening to this and you've enjoyed this, meet us at the back gates of school at three o'clock. Miss Voice will be there. Miss Voice will be there and she'll hand you a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, before she sparks you out, will say, find us on our other social medias and forms of entertainment. You can find us on YouTube at youtube.com slash jfreechannel. You can find us on Twitch five days a week at twitch.tv slash jfreechannel. You can find us on Instagram at jfreechannel. There's a theme here, but I'm about to break it because on Twitter, we're jfree underscore channel. (gasps) I know. Bugs me every time. Every time. And of course, we do have a charity live stream event coming up on the 19th of December. Uh, raising money for young minds, uh, raising awareness, and we'll be playing games, fun and festive forfeits. We'll have other streamers guest starring on. We'll be talking about mental health and what it means to them, and then playing games with them. So it'll be about awareness. It'll be about talking about the charity and what they do. And it's going to be an all round excellent time. I promise you it'll be fun. There's a J free guarantee. Festive themed. Don't forget. Festive themed. Festive themed. Like the YouTube video where Joe put baubles on his nipples. Oh, God. He did. Don't go back to watch those. <laughs> now, that's the old J3 archives. That's yeah, when we really didn't know what we were doing. We're currently in our renaissance. We're back and better than ever. Although, I think that's on our <laughs> best of videos, which is really old <laughs> as well. Surprised. That probably needs uh, updating we, and all. We, if you feel up to the challenge, new best of. Yeah, maybe. No. Maybe. <laughs> I just want to also slide in a quick. If you are listening to this and you have the Twitter handle, J3 channel, Get in exactly. touch because I'd like to fight you for it, please. Yeah, at, <laughs> at three o'clock at the back gates. <laughs> yeah, three o'clock back gates. Miss Boss will be there as well. I'll be in the background singing Feliz Navidad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Giggling to yourself. Fighting music. <laughs> Love to see it. And I'll yeah, be playing Stuntman Ignition. Soon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> On his handheld PSP, his portable Fun. PlayStation portable. Thank you for uh, listening to us waffle on for another hour or so. Um, oh, heck yeah. We'll be back again yeah, in the next week. episode, I guess. Next week. On episode three. Next. On episode Next. three. J Station three. Today was J Station two. <gasps> sure was. Probably J Station five. I'm gonna get sued. <gasps> <laughs> all right, boys. All right, everyone listening at home. Love you all. Love you. Stay safe. Stay safe. And we'll see you in a week's time or something. Love you all. Bye. Love you all. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <Bye-bye. laughs>